While delivering a seminar earlier this month, I overheard this conversation unfold between two managers in the front row. He said, I can't put off the decision any longer. I have to give the president an answer tomorrow about taking over the operations in Germany. The other manager turned to him and said, I don't know why you'd turn it down. It would be a great experience for you and the kids. Only two years there? Then you'd come back here and you'd have any job you wanted for the next 20 years. The first manager says, maybe. It'd be great if it were just my wife and me. But I'd have to move the two youngest kids, my mother-in-law and our granddaughter. She says, the company wants you there, right? Do they give you a choice? He says, I think so. I, I mean, I, I think I have a choice. I, I guess that's what I'll try to determine in the meeting this afternoon. The president did ask me if I wanted the job. The other manager says, they don't ask. If you don't take this assignment, it'll be your last. It'll be your last shot, in fact, at the executive suite. The manager with the pending meeting pondered the predicament. What had the president meant? Was it take it or leave it, or take it and love it? A little later in the seminar, when our discussion turned to email, a participant brought up another example of mixed messages. He was talking about the incoming email on his laptop. The opening paragraph of that email, addressed to committee members everywhere, read like this. You are cordially requested to be a member of the Goals and Planning Committee for the incoming year. As a member of this committee, you'll need to attend a two-day meeting at the Houstonian on October 15 and 16. If you have a serious schedule conflict and cannot attend, please contact me immediately so that a replacement can be found. Now, which is it? A request or a command? You are cordially requested implies a choice. And then the email said, if you have a serious schedule conflict, implies that she had better come up with a good excuse for not showing up. Our email inboxes, management presentations, and television airways deliver such confusion daily. Mixed messages make great fodder for lawyers, politicians, and comedians. But if you intend to make your point in the marketplace, shoot straight.